One of the most intriguing aspects about Katsu is that anyone can use it. You know, here in America, whenever you have a device that helps with rehab, you have to go through certification classes and you have to go through all this education and training and all these contraindications and precautions and all that. Well, this is pretty simple. You go through an online course, teaches you how to use it, and you're good. Anyone can use it. Bear with me for a minute. This is about to get really nerdy. What they found with Katsu is that when you place the bands around your arms, you put on the tight band, place it on there, you tighten it down. That initial tightness is called your base pressure. What I want to explain to you is that when you put that base pressure on, when you initially put it on your arm or your leg, what that's doing is that slowing down the blood back into your heart. So your veins take blood back to your heart into the right atrium. The left ventricle pushes the blood through the arteries out to your muscles. Your muscles use your blood and they push it back through the veins, back through your, the right side of your heart. Now when you put the, the, the bands on your arms or the legs, what happens is that there's a slight reduction in venous return. And when there's a decrease in venous return, that's going to decrease your cardiac output, the blood pumping through the other end. And the receptors in your vascular system sense a slight drop in blood pressure. So things start to change. What's going to happen is that's going to trigger your vagus nerve, which innervates most of the organs in your abdomen. Your vagus nerve is stimulated. And so that's going to create what's called a parasympathetic response. So your fight or flight system, your sympathetic and your parasympathetic. Sympathetic is everything tightens up, you get ready for a fight. Parasympathetic is, is you're relaxed, you're calm, everything's feeling great. When you put on the base pressure, that elicits a parasympathetic response. Now follow me here because this is going to improve your heart rate variability. So you're controlling your blood pressure indirectly by placing these bands on your arms and on your legs. So we're going to start with the arms, okay? Because when you do cat through the first time, you want to start with your arms. The vascular system in your arms is smaller than your legs. And so it's going to gradually get you accustomed to the feeling of katsu. So you take the band, put the band on your arm. We're going to demonstrate this. It's not hooked up to anything. This is just the band. Now, when Dr. Sato first started this, he tried everything. He started with tire uh, tubes that inflate. He noticed that when he was kneeling, he was losing circulation to his legs, but then when he stood up, he felt like he had a really good leg workout. He said, you know, something's here. Something, there's something here, and I need to figure this out. So you take these bands, and you put it on your arm. Put it on your legs, okay? You don't want to do all four limbs at once. You only want to do both arms or one arm, both legs or one leg. So you don't even want to do an arm and a leg. You want to do either upper body or lower body. You, know, you can read his research and you'll find out why. And it's very intriguing to see where he came. True pioneers really have to test themselves. They have to put it on themselves, really. Just like I'm doing right now. Okay, so I put on one band on my left arm. It's left arm. So I put the band on my left arm and that's a little bit of pressure, okay? So I can still wiggle it around. I can still even slip it around, I can move it around, it's not that tight. And what's going on is that the blood going back to my heart is slowly starting to decrease in volume. So everything starts to calm down. You get to that parasympathetic state. Everything is just nice and relaxed. The beauty with Katsu is that it's based on an intermittent cycle. You know, if you look up the general adaptation syndrome, what they found is that the bigger stress you apply on your body, the more your body is going to fight back to maintain that homeostasis. And so you don't want to deviate too far from homeostasis or your body's going to have too much stress. And if you work out too hard, you're sore. It's your body repairing itself. If you go for a long marathon run, you're going to be really sore for a couple of days. If you go for a light walk, you're not going to be that sore. And so with Katsu, you put the bands on your arms and you get that base pressure. It lowers you into that parasympathetic state. Things start to relax a little bit. <sighs> you feel like you need to take a deep breath and everything calms down. Well now when you turn on the cycle, it inflates the bands and there's a little inner tube inside these bands. It's a specially designed inner tube. It's not just something that you can get anywhere. He tried it. These are well designed. And so when the bands fill up with air, it puts pressure. And so now that venous return drops even more. 
And your body picks up on that and says, hey, whoa, 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 hey, we're losing blood pressure here. We got to keep things going. We got to keep at homeostasis. So then you kick into a sympathetic response. Say, we're, we're getting some, something's going wrong here. You know, we're losing blood pressure. And so everything starts to constrict. Your heart rate increases, your breathing, everything starts to kind of change to accommodate that drop in blood pressure. As that cycle stops, the pressure is released and your blood pressure starts to come back. The blood flow comes back to the venous return and things start to kind of calm down a little bit. And bam, there you go, you go back into another cycle. So the Katsu cycle is based on eight rounds of 30 seconds on and five seconds off. It gradually steps up incrementally. You don't go to full blast. Some of the other devices out there, you put something on your arm or your leg and you inflate it till it slows all blood flow in that limb and then you back it down. And that's the beauty with Katsu is that you start low and you gradually work your way up. You know, I wouldn't ask you to walk into a gym and pick up 500 pounds off the ground on your first day. No, you gotta start small. You gotta gradually work up and Katsu is the same way. It's like working out for your vascular system. You don't want to take it to one rep max on your first time. Yeah, you want to know where you're at, but you don't want to push your body too hard too soon, especially if you're a little bit older. And that's the beauty about Katsu is that anyone can use it. They've been using it in Japan for a long time. Everyone from cardiac rehab to strokes to sarcopenia to dementia to uh, orthopedic injuries, there's all kinds of research coming out of Japan how this works. This is great. But the problem is, is we don't really know where to draw the line. Whenever you start to manipulate blood flow in and around your heart, people start to get nervous. People start to ask questions. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You know, what about like a blood clot? What about a hemorrhage? What about a stroke? You know, all these negative words. As soon as you say blood flow, people think the worst. But the best thing about Katsu is that you start slow and you gradually work up. But you're, you're going to feel a little strange the first time you put it on your arms you know you have veins and arteries and there's nerves wrapped around everywhere in your body and when those arteries and veins start to kind of move around a little bit you know you say this kind of feels weird and then the more you do it the less and less you feel that sensation and it feels good you say okay and you start to learn your own body so again you put the band on you get that base pressure put it on okay so now I'm gonna start to move around a little bit, okay? So now the blood coming out of the limb is slowing down. When you contract your muscle, that muscle is strong enough to push it through. When you have a very wide band, it puts a lot of pressure on that muscle and it doesn't allow that muscle to really get that blood flow out. Wide, rigid bands put pressure on the arteries and when you slow blood flow into the limb, that's when things get dicey. So this puts a little bit of pressure on the veins, not so much the arteries. As you go through, what you're going to notice is that you'll have blood pooling up in your arms and you'll feel that your, your limbs are starting to swell up a bit. And that's that blood pooling in there. And what's going on is that the partial pressure of oxygen in the capillary beds is starting to reduce because that blood's in there. So you're not getting the blood out. It's every time you contract those muscles, the blood pushes through. But when you sit there and relax, it starts to pull up a bit. So when your partial pressure of oxygen drops in the capillary beds, it signals, hey, cells are tired. Shut off the type one muscle fibers. We gotta kick some fire going here. We gotta get the type two fibers going. We need some strength, we need some power. As you get older, you have a harder time eliciting a response from those type two fibers. You know, how often do you see people over 55 doing, you know, sprinting and power hopping and power cleans and stuff you know as you get older it gets harder and harder to do that and that's the beauty about katsu is that you don't use weight you don't use heavy weight at all and it helps trigger those power muscles those muscles you haven't used in a long time so as you get older muscles start to atrophy they start to shrink and when that partial pressure of oxygen drops in those capillary beds it's signaling your brain saying hey we need help we need to increase protein synthesis. You get the MR, mRNA starts ramping up protein synthesis for the cells. So you get this metabolic fatigue. It's not so much a structural fatigue. It's not so much tearing those muscle fibers to get strength. It's more 
these muscles are tired. They're running out of energy. We need to get help here. So your body starts to dump growth hormone. It starts to dump all these other muscle building hormones throughout your body. Even though you're doing your arms or your legs, it's a full body response. It's great because your body dumps into that bloodstream. It's not going to isolate. You're, you can't spot reduce. You can't just say, hey, you know, I want to get one quad muscle stronger. I mean, how many physical therapists out there say you can't just isolate your VMO? We all know there's one femoral nerve that innervates all those quads. So for you to say, hey, I just want to get your VMO strong, we know that's a big challenge, especially in ACL repair. If you get injured, you can start using this in the early days of post-op rehab. You can put it on there and start cycling. And as that cycle goes through, you're not stressing your body out to the point where it's freaking out. You're just applying a little bit of stress, just enough stress to where it starts slowly, slowly, and slowly ramp up. You'll notice you get stronger. You know, my dad, he's had his hips replaced. And that's one of the things he was nervous about. You know, when I put it on him for the first time, he goes, what about my hips? So your hips are great, dad. This will be just fine. He goes, okay, what about my back? You know, he's always questions. And I, I sat there and I talked to him and I explained to him what was going on. And you know, the first time he put the bands on, he said, wow, he goes, I haven't felt this pump in a long time. Uh, this is great. Where has this been? I said, well, we're learning. And so that's the thing is that we got to learn where to draw that line. And so with all this research, with all the cardiologists in Japan and all the clinicians in Europe that have been using this for a long time, they're starting to figure out where we got to draw those lines. Now there's a chart I would like to show you that they came up with in Japan to give people a better idea of where to go with this. And you know, everyone's worried about what about a blood clot? What about a stroke? What about pulmonary embolism? What are all these scary things? What they found is that with katsu, not only does it not cause blood clotting, it actually helps. It helps decrease the clotting formation. So when you get a blood clot, you get a blood clot if there's endothelial damage. So the inner layer of the veins, if there's damage there from surgery or something like that, and then you have blood stagnation throughout your limbs, that could cause clotting. You know, before you even do this, you always want to talk to a doctor. If you're exercising on your own and you're healthy, then you know, you're okay, but you always talk to your doctor. Find out why. There's things that happen when we're young. Before you're 35, you may never even know about a heart problem. As you get older, things start to kind of pop up. You start to learn, hey, I've got this heart issue I didn't even know about. Oh man, and so now you're getting all these medications. But with Katsu, you can improve the blood flow through your body. It helps open up the pipes. Think about all those patients that you've had that have been in bed for a long time. They don't use their muscles because they're not walking very much. So that active muscle pump is not pumping the blood through the veins back up into circulation. What happens? You get these ulcerations, you get just poor circulation, you get crusty legs, you get all these problems, and you get more medications, you get, you get more issues. Well, with Katsu, you start cycling and you start doing that cycle. And I love to just say this, you know, it's like a cycle, it's like waves. You know, you're not gonna get one big massive wave and that's it. The ocean comes in waves, everything comes in waves. Nothing in nature is static, everything flows. And that's what Dr. Sato realized is that when you do a static pressure, yes, that helps build muscles. But when you cycle, it slowly starts to improve everything. It's great. With cycling, you warm up your body. And when you're ready, you can go to the training mode. No more than 15 minutes in your arms, no more than 20 minutes on your legs. But when you try it, you will realize very quickly that that's pretty high bar. You know, I talked to a cardiothoracic surgeon and he loves physical therapists because he says, you know, you guys walk my patients. You know, I'm a glorified walker. I walk my patients. I get them out of bed, I walk them around, so simple. But in essence, there's so much going on in the body when you go for a walk. And with Katsu, you put the bands on your legs and you can just gradually improve that pressure in and out. If I know as a physical therapist, I need to stay healthy. I need to be a good example for my patients. And Katsu allows me to get a great workout in in a fraction of the time. I feel great, I feel strong, I'm still lean, I look great. There's all these positives about it. It's like, why, why are we not doing this? And it's because people get concerned 
whenever you start to manipulate blood flow. And that's the beauty about cat too, is you're just barely manipulating. I've had this band on my arm for I don't know how long, I've, however long I've been doing this video. My arm feels fine. It's tight, there's a little bit of blood flow, but I feel relaxed. Feels great. <laughs>